Hello there, people of the internet, and I'm back with the re-unboxing. I think the people that unboxed this probably didn't blab on when they pulled every part out. It's a bit dark in here, maybe I'll open this door and maybe let some proper light in. Ah, oh, that's good. So it's a back cylinder then, you may have saw the sneak peek of this, or the other sneak peek in the DC44 review. Um, so, yeah. We had to fix this box, we got this out of the auction for the amazing bargain price of 40 quid, quite a lot, but it had only been used twice and when I got it that filter had no carbon dust on it. I'm not joking, it had no carbon dust on it. Now I've used it quite a lot, so at this time it has a lot more carbon dust on it, but still not very much. I think it's just your pretty bog average box. Now I had a model like this one, if that actually the same apart from it was blue and grey, uh, called the Vax Astrata, I believe. I think they wanted to call it the Astra, like Vauxhall's Astra. Because I think the Vauxhall Astra is just all the people that, you know, the general car that everyone seems to have nowadays, I think. Um, well, I know a few people with them. Uh, well, it was. Uh, well, I'm guessing it was meant to say Astra, but it said Astrata. Well, that's what my rubbish sounding out skills were used. In fact, I think there's a video on YouTube of uh, just one of those annoying videos where you can just see the photo of it and some of that annoying uh, hold music that you get when you're phoning uh, next about your faulty clothes. Which I don't know how you can get faulty clothes, but you know. So let's look at the first part, this telescopic extension tube, I've not got very much packaging for this, only about one piece that looks to, have go, looks to go where the front of the vacuum is. So I'll just clamp, can't really see, there it is. It goes a reasonable length, as you can see there's all the bars, sorry for any background noise, and it just clicks into every one of those, like a little setting, there it is. Oh yeah, and another vac I've got. You know, it's quite a long story. Well, I'll tell you the story when I get it. But I'm just going to tell you I've got a DC-05. Um, another one. And that's it. Here's the floor head. It's not a bad floor head. I mean, it's alright. It does the job for what I do. I don't actually clean up a lot of big messes. I just go around the houses every day. I vacuum two houses daily. That's my grandparents, which are right next door, and my house. But yeah, it rolls along quite nicely, and especially on the size of. Let's take the part which is the hose. And um, actually, yesterday, if you've had one of these Avaxes, you'll know the hose is short and the cable is short. And I foolishly tried to clean my stairs yesterday. I had to plug it in downstairs, clean part of my stairs, and then plug it in up here in that special hoovering socket and clean the rest of the stairs. So it was quite a lot of work on the stairs because it has such a short cord and a very short hose. Is that a, a metre and a half? Actually, I wouldn't be shocked if it was one metre. Um, so what other attachments? Well, you don't get this. I keep this uh, Vax turbo head with it because this is one of the turbo heads uh, from Vax that are, this one still works very well, even though it's seen a lot of use. It's a decent nozzle if you know how to properly use it. You have to sort of glide along like that and you don't keep it on for very long, otherwise it'll stop spinning. Now I learned that. Crevice tool, there was a little bag for these, but the bag was like ripped, quite big. So that hasn't seen that much use. Um, I don't think they'd actually been used. The bag had been opened, but they hadn't been used. This, it has been used now. I don't know if you can see all the dirt in there. There's hair. A lot of hair caught in there, because that's probably my mum's hair in a minute. I'm just going to straighten that up. And now, we're on to the last piece. And now I've moved that box in my brother's doorway. There! Evax, practically an astrata. Oh yeah, another story about the astrata. Actually, I've got a lot of stories about Vax. I found an astrata outside this uh, flats. 
these flats um in our local high street. In fact, it's right next to Beans. Um, I found one of these, but it was the Astrator, like the one I had. It had its holes, but the bin. Now, this is a common problem. I need to tell you the other story during I'm telling you a story. Well, these catches break quite easily. It was held together with, like, pink ribbon. No exhaust filter. One of the switches was missing. Now, I think it was the rewind, because uh, the real, the cable was all out all over the ground. It was soaking, and the uh, plug had been cut off. I know that because I saw a plug on the ground and it said, I think it said either vaccine or it was the same as this. Um, I know that block of flats, I've been in there once and I actually saw the same vax. Um, it still it had the string on a few years ago. So, yeah. can't remember what I went in the block of flats for. I don't know. Um, now, will I tell you the story of what happened to mine? Well, there's a lady in the auction, uh, Mrs. Hagee, married to the auctioneer, the old auctioneer. And she was looking for just a little hoover to do her stairs, and I sold her my Astrata. And her eldest son, eldest son, Paul, broke it by going to empty it. And he just, he's quite a strong man. He must have just pulled the cylinder so hard without pressing the button which is the essential part, you've got to press the button and then the transfer comes off, that he broke the... Now, I'm not totally sure because I haven't seen it in person. But I'm guessing either this bit that holds it on is stuck in there or the button bro is broken. I think the catch is probably broken. So, what? Well, seven minutes and I've not showed you around the machine. Wow. Well, well, I better do that and I'm going to take this box out of the way and we'll give us some more light on the cleaner. Now, one interesting feature I saw, and this is maybe for Japan, because uh, I know this is a very Hitachi design. I know the tools look very Hitachi. Now, can we see in there that there is two holes, right, where the suction port is? And can you see on the holes here that there is also two holes? I think this design can be used for a power head, having power uh, rails through it and power prongs on the end of the hose. I think if this machine had a power head, it would be a lot better. I'm not saying it's bad, it's actually quite a decent little cleaner. But if we put a power head, well we, I'm not going to do that, I've not got any power heads. I'm actually just moving this box into my room because I'm getting sick of it lying around. Uh, yeah, it would take this cleaner's performance from a 4 to maybe a 5, depending on how good the power head is. So let's take a look at the design of this cylinder. Do excuse the fluff. Um, so basically there's a HEPA filter in there, in that shroudy bit. And this button, it empties the bottom. Now, the I don't like the yeah, the design of that because when you hold it over the bin and press the button the way the bottom of the cylinder is designed it tips under but because it's sort of like a bowl um, all the dirt remains in inside the insides of the bowl and it doesn't empty out now when I looked at this in the auction actually I knew there was a boxed vat and when we were going to see it I, I was completely oblivious but before we went, I had another scout at the photos and saw a box that was a Vax box with this poking out. And I saw, yes, it's the style I want. But when I did look at it, I saw this uh, piece of foam had some fine dust in it. It doesn't show up on camera. So I thought, oh no, it's been pulling stuff through. It hasn't. That filter was clean. It only had a little bit of fine dust. And I looked at the post filter and I knew it had been hardly used because of the a level of carbon dust. So I highly doubt... Even the auctioneer said when he was selling it that it had only been used twice. Not like you can always trust them. And that's on right. So, now I'm just going to click that off. That's where the supposed clean air comes out. Can't be totally clean because might, that piece of foam had some fine stuff on it. I need to try and get that in right, otherwise it might pull stuff right through. So, Let's see the control panel, very basic. 
for the 21st century. Now the cord reel button is here. It's a decent cord reel, it does quite a good job. A uh, suction dial, this is banned actually, this cleaner. 1800 watts, that's far too much. On off switch, it's very stiff, probably because it's still quite new. Parking bracket, now I don't, if you get one of these, don't park it. Uh, I'm warning you because on my model, my model coincidentally was also in the box that I bought the AstroTurf. It had the same mechanism. So I went to bed one night and I left it parked. Came down to my living room the next morning and I found the tube and stuff had all been bent. This bit bends because it's not very strong. So uh, the tube was like leaning on there. Whenever you parked it, the tube sort of bent forward. So... I never packed it again and I've learned my lesson. Usually when you get the first one you learn a lot of lessons. So it doesn't have that much carbon dust on it. It had like zero when I first bought it. It did have some fluff in the cylinder but I could tell it was the first time it had been emptied because the bin needed a little bit of help to open. So yeah when I emptied it here I didn't empty it in the auction. I don't think the staff would be very happy. So I'm looking at my time in 11 minutes. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a part 2 to this video and I'll assemble it and have it all ready to use. Stay tuned. <laughs> 